We are beings of light. We operate with millions of electrical impulses sending messages to every active cell in our bodies and we eliminate, illuminate light. We are beings made up of molecules. 99% of those are water. And as, men, as my Russian friend says, the rest is just dirt. I guess, I guess the best description for JJ and Desiree are future science and consciousness, archaeologist, um, soldier of fortune, um, new age guru, channeler. He's one of these few people who covers a lot. He can write articles on very detailed science or very new age uh, metaphysical concepts and values. Sorry, so um, we're going to try and connect the dots and uh, see if we can learn from ancient civilizations and what we, what we find in the past that will benefit us today because I truly believe that the days of just looking and marveling at history and wondering what was going on in ancient times are over. We've got to start putting to good use the knowledge and information we use. And the time is here. And what I've discovered, the more I delve into this, the more time I spend... On this, I do believe that we are the people we've been waiting for. Each and every one of you is here to play a very important role in spreading this information. To understand climate, we must first understand the sun and its connections with the earth. It connects with the Earth through gravity, radiant energy, of course, and electricity. And you say, what? Electricity? Well, NASA have found that there is an electrical connection between the Earth and the Sun. I might say they've rediscovered it because it was already proposed over 100 years ago by a Norwegian, Christian Berkeland, who said on the basis of his research into auroral phenomena, that there was an electrical connection between the Earth and the Sun. So NASA had finally caught up more than 100 years later. He would have been, um, here we go, Joe has had a lengthy career in US military intelligence and security and having earned 28 military decorations, he retired as a chief warrant officer in 1984. Joe is famous for his work as a psychic spy, recruited in the late 1970s as remote viewer number one in the US military's Stargate program and helping put together an effective paranormal data collection and support unit which serviced intelligence agencies including the CIA, DIA, SCA, sorry, NSA. So let's give him a big, warm Nexus Conference welcome. I'm going to hold the mic out and you're going to rave and cheer. And welcome to Hello. I'm uh, very pleased to have been uh, welcomed to your, your group and I'm glad I can be on the screen at least momentarily. We've been having a little bit of difficulty because it's raining here and uh, the weather's not too well, but uh, it's a wonderful introduction. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm not well known because I guarantee total anonymity to my customers from the beginning, and uh, I uh, seldom speak about what I do to anyone. I especially don't bring up the successes or anything uh, to my customers. Uh, I've done a number of demonstrations for that reason live on camera. Uh, I've done a little more than 150 of those. Today we're going to be talking about um, 
our genes. We're going to be talking about the power we have to alter our health destiny. So how many people would like to be able to optimize their health? I would hope so. How many of you are confused about exactly how to do that? You know, we have so many conflicting theories, uh, options, strategies, protocols. Um, we often are overwhelmed. So what I want to share with you is what I've discovered, what I have been incorporating. Thank you.